Well, hi there, everybody, and uh, good Monday morning to you. I'll just Travis Klineski had one rain area of showers uh, move through earlier this morning that's been lifting to the northeast. More showers may be on the way. Something that may slow down the onset of this rain chance a little bit is an east wind. It'll be a little bit blustery today. It might actually hold the rain back a little bit, but I do expect better chances of rain coming in this afternoon. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, as we get into the evening and overnight hours, chances of rain will continue. In fact, may get a little bit better later in the nighttime hours. There's a small chance of an evening severe weather in northern Kansas, far southern Nebraska. It's not a very good chance, but I do think the chance will actually get a little better tomorrow here. Now, we're watching for good chances of rain and some thunderstorms coming in for your Tuesday. Still going to be rather cool for most of us, but as that occluded front lifts northward, some warm air is going to budge into southern parts of the viewing area, and along with that, a little more instability. Now, not a ton of instability but some sufficient for severe weather but what's really going to help that severe weather chance is this area of low pressure there's going to be a lot of spin in the atmosphere and with that kind of spin shear we call it I think we could see some updrafts go up here and that could produce some large hail and it's not even out of the question we get maybe a couple of brief weak tornadoes I don't think we'll see strong tornado activity but you can get some tornadoes in this kind of an environment <coughs> sorry fighting a cold a little bit here so I apologize for the coughing as we go into Tuesday evening, still a chance of some storms during the evening, but then later in the nighttime hours as that low pressure lifts away from us, uh, the chances of rain will start to clear out here. Yes, that's a little snow off to our northwest uh, later on Tuesday night as some cooler air works in by Wednesday morning. We'll be down in the lower 40s here in the Tri-Cities by uh, Wednesday morning, but we should see a nicer day in the area on Wednesday. The other thing I'll mention the next couple of days, winds will be a little on the strong side as well. So first off, now rainfall potential. Now this is iffy because it all depends on where exactly the best track of rain will be. Now some forecast models are a little heavier in southeast Nebraska. You kind of see that fall city there. That's Some models have that a little closer to the local four viewing area. But I think there will be a widespread one to two inches of rainfall with locally higher amounts in some locations. So again, this isn't exact science. This isn't, isn't exactly how much we're going to get. But this gives you an idea that yeah, this is just the next two days, really. A lot of rain is coming. There are flash flood watches in effect for southeast Nebraska. Uh, Beatrice, Fairbury, over towards Fall City, and then down towards Belleville, Kansas, under a flash flood watch until 7 o'clock Tuesday evening. Along with that, well, I mentioned a little bit of severe weather for us. Look at that down to our south, though. And in fact, I'll see if I can't move this graphic here a little bit. Yep. Uh, parts of Oklahoma and Texas under a high risk of severe weather just west of Oklahoma City and just southeast of Amarillo. Uh, they're looking at the potential for some uh, major severe weather outbreak today, including possibly long track violent tornadoes, not out of the question. Mar moderate risk for a large area there. Now you saw it here in Nebraska, here and in fact I'm going to uh, adjust to the next graphic here you can see we have a marginal risk in southern Nebraska northern Kansas I really think it's about the Kansas border southward that has a small chance of some severe weather late today into this evening um, mostly for wind and hail I don't think there'll be a lot I'm not looking for a big time severe weather event it's gonna be very isolated at best now tomorrow a little better chance we might see some severe weather later in the day tomorrow um, again, I mentioned that chance, even of some brief, weak tornadoes. This is a marginal threat, but I actually think the chance is a little better than today's chance. Hail, maybe an isolated tornado or two, not out of the question. I don't think we'll see any strong tornado activity. And then Wednesday, most of the day is quiet, but then late Wednesday night, probably not until after midnight, a little bit of severe weather tries to nose into our area in the southern and southeastern parts of the area. Now, Thursday is a day, and I don't have a graphic for this here, but the Storm Prediction Center is actually highlighting a day four outlook for our area, especially central and eastern Nebraska, northern Kansas, for a chance, a little bit better chance of some severe weather. And usually once they start marking day four or five, six, you know, they look out a little bit. That's when you know there's probably a little better chance we could see some severe weather. So Thursday may be our first big day of maybe watching a little better chance of some severe weather out there. So beyond just those marginal threats, basically, is what I mean. So before that, though, we've got these cool days ahead today. 40s and 50s for highs, maybe even upper 30s in parts of the panhandle of Nebraska. Tonight, dropping back into the 40s. Not a big drop in temperatures. Uh, still in the 30s, way out west here. They're, they're looking at the potential maybe for a little snow in the panhandle of Nebraska. Look at the highest tomorrow, only in the 30s in the panhandle. For the rest of us, 40s, 50s, 60s, maybe near 70 in the far southeast. So some of that warm air is trying to budge in a little bit tomorrow. We'll see a little more of that as we get into your Wednesday, as we get highs into the 50s and, or 60s and 70s, although still quite cool in the panhandle of Nebraska. We'll get better beyond Wednesday temperature-wise. 
Again, you see the good chances of rain and thunderstorms the next couple of days. Wednesday, mostly dry. I mentioned that late night Wednesday night chance after midnight. And then Thursday, off and on chances of rain and thunderstorms with a little better potential for, for some severe weather late in the day Thursday into Thursday evening. A lot of that will depend on the amount of instability we can no, get nosed into southern Nebraska and northern Kansas here. But like I said, the uh, Storm Prediction Center already highlighting much of the area for a day four outlook. And I would agree with that. I think there is at least a chance. Friday looks like a dry day for most of us and other than maybe late day Friday in the southeast. And some of those may try to move in late Friday night after midnight here. But then Saturday, Sunday, the beginning of our Memorial Weekend, uh, Memorial Day weekend, off and on showers and thunderstorms. Now, how things will play out, that's still a big-time question mark. We, it's still tough to even figure out tomorrow, let alone Saturday and Sunday. But each day has a chance of thunderstorms, and with that, holds the chance with more instability and uh, decent shear. Uh, we have chances of severe weather both Saturday and Sunday and potentially even into next Monday on Memorial Day. Could be kind of a three-day event here we'll be, we'll be looking at. So uh, if you have plans around the area, maybe especially camping, things like that, you're going to want to pay attention to the forecast for this weekend and, and Monday as you get closer. Now, th again, things really get affected by what happens the day before. So the way storms play out on Saturday may affect how Sunday plays out. The way things play out on Sunday may affect how Monday plays out. So Again, you kind of have to wait till we get a little closer to these events before we get a better idea of how things will play out. But I will just mention, again, uh, there are chances of severe weather. Saturday, Sunday, maybe again on Monday here. But at least we're going to be warming up upper 70s near 80 there. The lows will be in the 50s. It'll be a little bit nicer there. So, you know, it'll feel a little bit better out there. But today, that's a jacket and an umbrella kind of day out there, especially by this afternoon. Those winds are going to pick up these next couple of days later today tonight tomorrow those winds are going to be up there around 15 to 25 miles per hour gusting is over 30 miles per hour at times so all right hopefully i got you all the information that's about as much as i have for you right now um again just kind of continue to monitor the forecast day to day as we get closer to each day you get a better day way get a better idea of how things might play out here so with that uh, i will let you all go thank you all for watching i do appreciate it i'll see you all again on your tuesday morning take care enjoy your monday even though it's going to be kind of crummy out but that's all right we got better days ahead take care god bless